Hello friends, welcome to BISPTraining.com. My name is Sumit and once again I welcome all of you to video series of ClickSense. In this video I am going to demonstrate you how to perform an advanced data visualization in ClickSense using extensions. So extensions are additional components which can be added into ClickSense and by using those additional components we can perform visualization or we can do data visualization so first of all I'm going to demonstrate you or I'm going to tell you that how to add the extensions on ClickSense and then we'll see the various uses of those extensions so in this video I'm going to talk about the dependency view and uh, let me show that how dependency wheel looks like that's a dependency wheel and this extension it visualizes the dependencies between two dimensions using an interactive disk and each disk it represents or each disk section it represents a dependency and link between arcs materialize these dependencies so let's have a look how to add this particular dependency wheel extension onto ClickSense and how to use it so I'm going to visualize this data. I have got a sales data and I'm going to visualize the data. So I'm going to visualize the region with respective to the product category and I want to find out the total sale. So in this we'll be going to add two dimensions and one major in that dependency field. But first of all, let's have a look how to add that extension in ClickSense because right now Let's have a look where to get the extensions and how to add the extensions into ClickSense. So first, I'm going to create a new app and I give a name as Advanced Visualization. That's the app. I open this app and I'm going to load the data. So I click on Add Data. Select All Files. D drive the data resides on my data set folder and named as sales.xlsx sales.csv this is dot, it's a csv formatted file and uh, field names embedded field names and that's the data set so i simply say load data and finish so data gets loaded and now i'm trying to edit the sheet so there's a new sheet here new sheet either we can close it or we can click on this my new sheet click on edit and we open the sheet and an edit mode on the extreme left you can see four options are coming first one is the chart which gives you different type of charts which are available in ClickSense the second option is custom object and you can see in custom object as I was talking about extensions. so right now there are no extensions added in this ClickSense in our ClickSense so we need to add the extensions externally third one is a master items for dimensions and we can add new dimensions into it measures and visualization and fourth one is the fields available in, from the data set but because we are going to work on extension so I have only concentrated on ex extensions here and I want to add the dependency field extension into ClickSense so to add the dependency field into ClickSense I uh, will the website branch.click.com from here we can download the extensions free of cost and uh, click on projects so these are the free projects available through which we can download and set up the extension onto our system onto our, within our ClickSense system so there would be a lot of extensions both for ClickView and ClickSense you can filter it out if you scroll down you will see there is an extension named as ClickSense dependency wheel so it's a basically it's a D3 chart diagram to show major dependencies between two dimensions. So I click on it to know more about this extension. So this extension looks like this. For example, if I made a selection on Asia, also it will be display only the related items which are associated items with the current selection we have been made. So I need to download this extension to download the extension there's a URL coming over here https github.com so I click on this link 
and in this link it will open in a new tab and we need to download all these files so i'm going to download this in a zip format so i download as a zip click on download as download zip and so i have made a folder on my desktop named as clickview extensions and save it so the extension has already been saved that's the extension is, is downloading now So you can see the extension has successfully downloaded. Now I'm going to unzip it. So I extract this ClickSense dependency wheel. And these are the files. GIF images and these are the files which are related, which are associated with this. So I copy this folder, complete folder, because we need to add this into extension. So I copy this folder and then on my C drive, users, my documents, click sense extensions and i paste it in this directory c drive users the name of the username documents click sense extensions and i paste this for a complete folder here and now if we look at the extension section so we need to refresh it so i refresh it again and when i click on extension you can see a new extension has been successfully added named as dependency wheel chart which we added or which we downloaded so now i drag and drop this extension on my drawing area and see it is asking for two dimensions and one major to add me to two dimensions and one major so i click on add dimensions and first one is region y so i select region and the second is the product category and the major will be sales sum of sales and as soon as i click on sum of sales you can see a quickly a dependency wheel has been created successfully now uh, if we want we can customize it we have color and legend we have aggregated dimensions journal title we can add So you can see I have changed the title here and uh, if you want to add more features, if you want to customize it, you can do that once the customization is done. So once the customization is done, we'll save it. Uh, I'll make some changes in the color that is sequential reverse color and uh, we can go for diverging as well. So I, I like this format. So I go for this one and click on done. And finally, if I made a selection on, for example, if I made a selection on Ontario, it will show me all the associated data related with this Ontario region, related with furniture, office supplies, and technology. So that's the total sale in all regions, in all product category. And if I want to go for a specific, if I want to find out a specific product category, I can make a selection on that as well. So that's how we can quickly filter our record or we can filter the records or we can visualize the data by using dependency view. So that's all in this video. If you have any queries, you can write to us on www.bsptrainings.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on ClickSense. You can connect with us for the customized training on ClickSense. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Thanks for watching once again.